evangelist Dilesh Shannon. I'm a motivational speaker and an author, inspiring and encouraging people to live for Christ and to live a true Christian lifestyle. My passion is to share God's grace radically and to see lives gloriously transformed. So the thing I wanted to tell you is, God bless you and enjoy today's video. Everybody, may God bless you. Welcome to another Bible study session. Welcome to day one of Saul's Bible study. Welcome to day one of King Saul's Bible study. Today we'll be going to discuss some important parts and incidents from King Saul's life from his anointing as King of Israel. So let's start with today's Bible study. Now today we will be going to read 1 Samuel chapter 9 from the 1 Samuel chapter 9. In the other Bible tells us, there was a Benjamite, a man of standing whose name was Kish, son of Abiel, the son of Sarah, the son of Bekorath, the son of Aphia of Benjamin. He had a son named Saul, impressive young man, without equal among the Israelites, a head taller than any of the others. Now the donkeys belonging to Saul's father Kish were lost, and Kish said to his son Saul, Take one of the servants with you and go and look for the donkeys. So he passed through the hill country of Ephraim and through the area of Shalisha, but they did not find them. They went, they went on into the district of Shalim, but the donkeys were not there. Then he passed through the territory of Benjamin, but they did not find them. When they reached the district of Suf, Saul said to his, the servant who was with him, Come, let's go back or my father will stop thinking about the donkeys and start worrying about us. But the servant replied, Look, in this town there is a man of God. He is highly respected and everything he says come true. Let's go there now. Perhaps he will tell us what way to take. Saul said to his servant, If we go, what can we give the man? The food in our sacks is gone. We have no gift to, we have no gift to take to the man of God. What do we have? The servant answered him again. Look, he said, I have a quarter of a shekel of silver. I will give it to the man of God so that he will tell us what way to take. Formerly in Israel, if a man went to inquire of God, he would say, come, let us go to the seer, because the prophet of today used to be called a seer. Good, Saul said to his servant, come, let's go. So they went, so they set out for the town where the man of God was. As they were going up the hill to the town, they met some girls coming out to draw water and they asked them, Is the seer here? He is, they answered. They went up to the town and as they were entering it, there was Samuel coming toward them on his way up to the high place. Now the day before Saul came, the Lord, has, the Lord had revealed this to Samuel. About this time tomorrow, I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin, anoint him leader over my people Israel, and he will deliver my people from the hand of the Philistines. I have looked up, I have looked upon my people, for their cry has reached me. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord said to him, This is the man I spoke to you about. He will govern my people. Saul approached Samuel in the gateway and asked, Would you please tell me where the seer ho seer's house is? I am the seer. Samuel replied, Go up ahead of me to the high place, for today you are to eat with me, and in the morning I will let you go and will tell you all that is in your heart. They rose, they rose about daybreak, and Samuel called to Saul on the roof, Get ready, and I will send you on your way. When Saul got ready, he and Samuel went outside together. As they were going down to the edge of the town, Samuel said to Saul, Tell the servant to go on ahead of us. And the servant did so, but you stay here a while, so that I may give you a message from God. Then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on Saul's head and kissed him, saying, Has not the Lord anointed you leader over his inheritance? After that you will go to Gibeah of God. Where there is a Philistine outpost, as you approach the town, you will meet a procession of, of prophets coming down from the hill place of li with lyres, tambourines, flutes, and harps being, playing, being played before them, and they will be 
prophesying fruits and herbs playing before them and they will be prophesying the spirit of the lord will come upon you in power and you will prophesy with them and you will be changed into a different person go down ahead of me to gilgal i will surely come down to you to sacrifice burnt offerings and fellowship offerings but you must wait 7 days until i come to you and tell you what you are to do and now we'll be going to read regarding Saul made king as Saul turned to leave Samuel God changed Saul's heart Saul's heart and all these signs were fulfilled were fulfilled that day when they arrived at Gibeah a procession of prophets met him the spirit of God came upon him in power and he joined in their prophesying when all those who had formerly known him saw him prophesying with the prophets they asked each other what is that what is this that has happened to the son of Kish is Saul also among the prophets and now we'll be going to read regarding uh, and now we'll be going to read from first samuel chapter 10 verse 17 in the other bible tells us samuel summoned the people of israel to the lord at mispah and said to them this is what the lord the god of israel says i brought israel out up, up out of egypt and i delivered you from the power of egypt and all the kingdoms that oppressed you but you have now rejected your god who saves you out of all your calamities and distresses and you have said no set a king over us so you present yourselves before the lord by your trips and clans when samuel brought all the trips of israel near the tribe of benjamin was chosen then he brought forward the tribe of benjamin clan by clan and matri's clan was chosen finally saul son of kish was chosen but when they looked for him he was not to be found so they inquired further of the lord has the man come here yet and the lord said yes he had hidden himself among the baggage they ran and brought him out and and as he stood among the people he was a head taller than any of the others samuel said to all the people do you see the man the lord has chosen there is no one like him all the people then the lord shouted long live the king then the people shouted long live the king and now we'll be going to read regarding saul rescues the city of jabesh nahash the ammonite went up and besieged jabesh gilead and all the men of jabesh said to him said to him make a treaty with us and we will be subject to you but nahash the ammonite replied i will make a treaty with you only on this condition that i gouge out the right eye of every one of you and so bring disgrace of all israel the elders of jabesh said to him give us 7 days so we can send messengers throughout israel if no one comes to rescue us we will surrender to you When the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and reported those these terms to the people they all wept aloud just then Saul was returning from the fields behind his oxen and he say and he asked what is wrong with the people why are they weeping then they repeated to him what the men of Jabesh had said when Saul heard their words the spirit of God came upon him in power and he burned with anger He took a pair of oxen, cut them into pieces, and sent the pieces by messengers throughout Israel, proclaiming, "This is what will be done to the oxen of anyone who does not follow Saul and Samuel." Then the terror of Lord, then the terror of the Lord fell on the people, and they turned out as one man. The next day Saul separated his men into three divisions. During the last watch of the night, they broke into the camp of the Ammonites. and slaughtered them until the heat of the day those who survived were scattered so that no two of them were left together now we'll be going to read regarding Saul confirmed Saul confirmed as king of Israel the people said then said to Samuel who was it they at that asked shall Saul reign over us bring these men to us and we will put them to death but Saul said no one shall be put to death today for this day the lord had rescued samuel so all the people went to gilgal and confirmed saul as king in the presence of the lord then they there they sacrificed fellowship offerings before the lord and saul and all the israelites held a great celebration so my dear friend that is all for today so thanks for watching and god bless you see you in the next video so i w- i would like to ask you something if you can please subscribe to our channel and smash that like button
So that is all for today. So thanks for watching and God bless you. See you in the next video. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you in all the days of your life. Amen and God bless you richly.